This car is getting towed. Didn't want to start, came from the airport last night and it's just there. So we'll see there. Dead car. Then we got the car home, tow truck, dropped it off. Couldn't do much, so that's that. Got the uh, battery charger hooked up to it, so tomorrow morning I'll take a look at it. Okay, so what I'm gonna do here, just because I have the battery charger hooked up to the car right now, and the battery is kind of fully charged, I'm gonna try to attempt to start it right now and see what happens, but. I think it's just gonna crank and nothing else. So I didn't wanna do that just because I didn't want this thing to be excited or energized while I go to remove the parts in there and get electrocuted. But before I go into it, I'll just try it one more time and see if there was something just wrong with the system or maybe too much fuel in the in the engine, maybe a stuck, a stuck injector or something. But here we go, I'm gonna try it this time, one more time. And if it doesn't fire up, I'm just gonna take it apart, um, disconnect the battery, and dive into it. That's that's all I got. All right. Anyways, I'm gonna disconnect the battery and start the teardown. Okay, got my gloves, my little farmer's glove there, so I don't get electrocuted. All right, there's three screws here for this distributor cap. I already removed one from last night, I'm trying to get this to work. So maybe I should. All right, that looks all legit. That's it. Pull this off. Uh, I'm gonna try to make some space here. Take these off the clip. All right, so this is your rotor right here. This spins as the engine turns. As this turns, it touches the contact on each one of these contact points here, therefore transferring the electricity to your spark plugs, which ignites the fuel air mixture and let your engine run. So. I think we have fuel going to the engine and I don't think we have spark. So this uh, rotor looks pretty good in good condition. I saw it last night. The contact points in here look pretty good too. No rust or anything. There's a little bit of dirt in here, so maybe some leakage. What usually fails on these cars, these Hondas, is the coil pack and the igniter. So it looks like it looks pretty good, but you never know until you get in there. So I can't get access to this call pack until I get this rotor off. Um, the bad part is that this thing is in a bad position. I have to rotate the engine until this turns where I can access the screw to take this rotor off the assembly. So there's multiple ways to do it. I'm probably gonna do it with the crank pulley if I can find it. All right, so I finally got the uh, engine rotated in the proper direction here. And what you're trying to get is this Phillips screwdriver right there, or Phillips screw right there. Just trying to get that aligned with the hole because it was rotated in the wrong direction. So you just rotate the crank. And there's multiple ways to do that. You can either just hit the starter periodically till the engine rotates to that, that uh, specific place. In my case, I have the battery disconnected and I have the coil pack here, so I don't want to energize that. So my method was to use the crank pulley to rotate the engine assembly to where that screw is now visible. Just as a reference, I removed the front left wheel here, tire, to get access to the actual crank pulley. That's the crank pulley there, and I'm using the actual like breaker bar with a big socket to rotate the actual engine, engine assembly so I can access the screw for the rotor. And that's what I did, just rotate the engine until that lines up. Let's see if I can get this screw out. All right, so that broke, which is good to get that screw. All right, so it fell in my hand. There's the screw right here. So technically, this rotor here should just slide out, which I'm gonna try to do. And there it is, slides out. There's a groove right here so that it can't be placed in the wrong direction. 
you can see the flat end right here and there's a flat end here as well so it's kind of impossible to put this in the wrong timing position I just took off the shield this dust shield that was right here just pry it out pull it off Woohoo! that's off now and everything under here looks pretty darn good this looks like a relatively new this whole assembly looks pretty new because like it's a new distributor the wire is pretty good it looks like a replacement part though it's not it doesn't look oem i can see a different branding on there all right so what i didn't show you earlier was these connections for the actual ignition there's two wires the one below says positive the one top says negative just two wires i am gonna unscrew this just two screws actually two screws holding it in and then there's two screws holding the wire to the ignition so i'm going to move the actual wires first with the first one <clears throat> isn't that pretty good all right well that's not good yeah never want to lose wires or lose nuts or bolts i might have an extra one from my previous ignition coil these are on pretty good, I think. All right, I broke that one. All right. There it is. Okay, long screw. Or long bolt, I keep saying screw, it's a bolt. All right, here's the other one. Just pull this off, and actually, yeah, the wire's already off. Boom, there's your coil. It looks like, it looks to be in pretty good condition. Well, it looks that way. All right, so the new one should be a direct replacement. Let's, let's compare the two. All right, here's your new one, quote unquote new. Looks identical. Yeah. It does say negative and top positive below. Same as the old one. So all I have to do is slide this thing back in there and tie it down. Okay, time to reassemble this thing here. This just slips back in there. I don't see anything that's like leaking or anything. It looks pretty good condition. Like this distributor looks like it was relatively new. Maybe just an old part. That igniter in there looks like a factory part though, NEC. I think that's a factory branding. But that coil pack doesn't look like a factory pack. So anyways, I'm gonna do the reverse. Slip this back in here. And it's already in place, it just slips in there. So put my bolt back in. Put the other bolt back in. So I'm doing this as quickly as possible. Save some time, it's getting dark. All right, tighten that down. Keep that there, I'll probably bolt that one up. All right, so. This one is in. Now I need a bolt for this one. Haha, <laughs> I just got it. Fished it out. Dude, that was, that was a task by itself. But I found it. Hopefully it doesn't drop again. That'd be so, so bad. Whew. All right, so there you go. All right, so I got both sides in there. I'm gonna put this shield, the dust shield back on here. It just slides on. Woohoo, that's fun. All right. All right, I know it's dark. Put this. All right, and all 
you guys when I was put this back on there. Hopefully this fits this time. There you go. Tight fit. Uh, all right, let's reinstall this air box because I am lazy. I don't want to do it, but I have to. All right, Honda made it simple. Fits into this box, and that's it. That's all she wrote. Put this in here, creates a nice seal. Boom. Three screws holds this top box in place all right that's it and that's how you change your distributor coil all right so is this thing gonna start or what let's find out I'm gonna go inside to get the keys and we're gonna start this thing together all right guys here we go we are gonna get in here which is pretty dirty and I'm going to attempt to start it up. If it starts, I'll just drive it out and we can wash this car together. All right, I can hear the fuel pump. Boom, it starts. So that's how you change your coil. And as you can see, sounds pretty darn good. I'm gonna close the hood and drive it out the garage. Smells pretty bad in here, which makes sense. All that, all that fuel in the cylinder is from the last time. All right. All right. Car is out the garage and. It sounds like it's normal self. All right, the car starts. It doesn't smoke. All right, what more could you want? A 90s Japanese car. Still works. Not in bad condition either. All right, let's get it before it rains. Look at the clouds. 